Okay, here we go. It is, um, what's the day today? It is, songbird is playing, it's 10 o'clock, and I have um, driven, it's the 10th, 10 o'clock. I drove the kids to school, not alone, but I had, um, uh, I was feeling okay. Yesterday was like for five, six hours, um, I had that fog, not like a panic, maybe it's just my anxiety, but it's just a fog, a funk feeling, and it lasted six hours. I just know that this morning I woke up and the fog was gone. Um, uh, so I did my walk. Ooh, and I was just hating it. <laughs> but I still try to not only benefit from the exercise part of it, but in regards to getting my heart racing and understanding <clears throat> that wedge that doctor wants me to put between my symptoms and... Um, me dying or feeling like I'm dying the panic anyway um so I did that and um went to the banks um and all that and home by 10 so not bad and we left about 8 40 this morning I'm just glad the fog is gone I see Dr. R finally today at one and I I don't know how to get rid of that fog. I tried to like lay and breathe um, for a little bit in our, um, my office. I'm trying to make nice. Um, and I was frustrated with it. I couldn't fully get relaxed. Um, I was praying. I was frustrated with that. We did um, have a Christian meeting that I just, I have the hardest time going in the evening. So I didn't go, so I'm sure I felt some guilt from from that. And I am, um, it's just that fog, that weird, almost unexplainable feeling that I get. And I tried to explain it to my husband because I kind of needed to just vent about it, um, talk about it because I'm a talker. And you know how you just want somebody to hug you or you to hug somebody until until you're done or you let them hug you until until they're done. That's sometimes what we need to do, I think, when we're venting and talking. Just let me talk till I'm done. And Drew has a really hard time on and off. Cuz don't get me wrong, he's very supportive, but right now this morning we're kind of having conflict because our miscommunications are so <sighs> exhausting, right? And it's, marriage is hard work. Um, and I try to explain to him that it's him cutting me off and him telling me, I get it, you don't have to explain it anymore. It's not helpful. <laughs> it's actually, it hurts my feelings quite a bit. And I just feel like, what a waste of breath. Why even talk to him at all then? And then I go back to, now I'm back doing Drew's answer to everything is don't talk about it. Which is horrendously unhealthy. I mean, whoa. I cannot live that way. I will never be able to live that way. And I certainly hope that the discussion that I had um, with Allison the other day that Drew can go in and get his own counselor and get some help through this and through his own depression because he's still not working and in regards to communicating with me um, because it is to the extreme right now. I... I just stop talking. I just turn on the radio and then there's a wedge between us because he's cool with it for the moment. I don't know if he completely sees the consequences to his actions when he does that though. Um, 
anyway, enough about that. I am going to deal with that. I'll talk to our doctor about that as well because he's going to help us through every aspect of this, he says. And now I'm going to take him on his word, right? I, um, I feel really good about doing my walk. It kicked my butt. I um, am very glad the fog has lifted. I feel a little anxiety. I think it's just from me and Drew's little tiff. Um, and I want to just get past through that. I have a little thing that I want to go do um, today. I want to drive to Sandy, Oregon to the Wasson Brothers. And I haven't told Drew. But it's a nice drive. It would be good for me. Good exposure therapy as well as... Um, the Wasson Brother Winery is out there and we don't get out there very much and I'm going to buy some bottles of um, Niagara wine and they're fairly inexpensive out there. I think they're like six, seven dollars a bottle when you drive out there. So I mean it's a little bit of a drive but um, if I can get like four bottles um, it'll be worth it and I was going to give them one each to the ladies. I was going to give one to Dr. R2 but I don't know if he um, is digging on the sweet wine. <laughs> And darn it, I'm going to keep trying to drink wine. <laughs> Even though I can't drink and I haven't been able to drink for a long time. But I keep trying um, to get past those feelings and just have a nice glass of wine and relax. So I enjoy it. I would love to be a wine connoisseur and study it more. I just really enjoy it. And um, I'm very frustrated <laughs> that I can't drink it. So now I'm going to go out and get this... Uh, this wine that uh, darn it I'm going to try to have a glass of wine <laughs> isn't that funny anyway it's the little things like petting your kitty or making my creations or having a glass of wine um, and then I see Dr. Art 1 so I'm sure I'll update after that um, so I can tell him some of my frustrations about some things going on that I already discussed in my diaries and um, see what he's got to tell me. Anyway, <sighs> I'm going to try to go in the house and be lovey and be happy and again, pretend like nothing happens <laughs> and get on with our day. Um, that's my goal. So that's it. Uh, and I'll update after my doctor's visit and see what this fog is all about why I continue to have this horrible feeling for hours on end that's what I want to know how to get through I mean I get through it I want it to go away <laughs> okay that's it